Hello everybody and welcome back to Gaming on Caffeine. My name is Isaac and we're back playing the Reckoning mod pack for episode 4. And look at this, I still can't get over how cool this runic matrix looks in the sunlight. Look at this thing. Look at it just glowing nice and pinky purple and oh, it looks brilliant. So uh, last episode we set up this uh, like arcane infusion crafting altar maybe? I don't know what to call this. Like a, a crafting altar statue, the runic matrix. We set up this thing and we set up these guys over here, the arcane alembic and the alchemical furnace with some water jars over there. And we did this with the intended purpose of making ourselves an arcane ball, which is all the way down here. So since last episode, I have been doing a ton of research and all that other cool shizwiz and uh, that's also another reason why it's taken so long to get this episode out. Sorry guys, it's been like five days. Um, but the reason it's taken so long, I've been like doing a ton of farmcraft research and trying to figure things out and it's taken a while. So I've got a lot of stuff set up and the reason that we didn't make the arcane ball last episode was because we needed all these aspects here uh, in the jars next to this um, infusion altar type thing. So we need a jar full of machina, a jar full of potentia, a jar full of, not definitely not necessarily full of, but with enough machina, vacuous and potentia to complete this uh, ritual, this crafting ritual in the infusion crafting system, uh, I'll call it. So in order to do that, we needed to get some aspects out of just general stuff like this, uh, let's have a look, leather has uh, bestia and whatever the other two are uh, in here. And if we wanted to get bestia into these jars, we could throw it in there and it would turn into the bestia. Let me just turn off rain noises, uh, particles, minimal. There we go. Quick tip for you there, guys. If you turn particles to minimal, rain sounds go off. Um, but yeah, if we threw that in there, it would break it down into the stuff we wanted. But then we don't really have a way of getting it from here over to here in the new versions of Thorncraft. So uh, the way we can do it is using golems. So I have spent like all of my time uh, since last episode researching golemancy. So I have unlocked the the hungry chest, which you had to do to start stuff. Oh gosh, there's some thunder. I unlocked the hungry chest, uh, then straw golems. I unlocked all of these uh, golem cores all the way up to the alchemy core, which is the one we're going to need. And you'll, you'll see there it says just underneath moving Essentia around. Uh, this is a specifically designed to transport Essentia, which is the name of the aspects once they're in liquid form. And we're going to use this golem down here, the flesh golem. Because it's uh, it's it's pretty good. The speed's above average. Uh, it's, it's made from zombie flesh. Uh, not only does it repair itself, but it's also able to hold two upgrades, which is kind of cool. So we're going to use a flesh golem. And we're going to use this guy over here, the, uh, the alchemy core. Now, in order to make ourselves a flesh golem, I'm actually going to go inside because it's... Uh, it's dark and scary out here. In order to get ourselves a, a flesh golem, we're going to need nine zombie brains to make a block of flesh. And then we can use that block of flesh that we throw it into a crucible. And then if we combine that with nine hum uh, eight humanus, eight motus, and eight spiritus, we can get ourselves a flesh golem. Now, for those who were here before, you'll remember we made some nitor by throwing, um, I think, what was it? Let's have a look. Alchemy. Nitor. We throw Glowstone in here and we needed three Ignis, three Lux, and three Potentia. And I think we got that from Cole and maybe something else, maybe a torch or something. Uh, something along those lines and out came some, um, some Nitor. So we need to find things that have uh, this stuff in them. We need to find things that have uh, Humanus, Motus, and Spiritus. Now, uh, Humanus can be found in Zombie Flesh uh, as well. So if we throw that on the floor and have a look, you can see there on the right, it, actually, it's easy to just show you like this. If I hold shift, uh, you can see Humanus is there. And Motus is found in Doors. If I uh, hover over this, you might just be able to see on the far right there, there's one Motus. So we'd need, I think, is it is there only one in here? Yeah, we'd need eight Zombie Brains, eight Doors, and then uh, Spiritus is found in Soul Sand, Gas Tears, and Zombie Heads. Uh, we don't have any of those, so uh, the only way we could get those is either by fighting some zombies, and we're probably going to have to fight some zombies anyway for the simple fact that we need the uh, rotten flesh to do quite a lot of stuff. So let's just go on a little bit of a... We don't have any armor really whatsoever, but uh, let's go see if we can uh, we can fight some guys. We're going to find any rude dudes? Uh, but yeah, if we find ourselves some, uh, some zombies, we could do that. What we could also do, uh, if we really wanted to... I don't want to fight a creeper. I'll take these, because these are... Oh, God. What's that? Oh, here we go. This guy. I'll fight this guy. Um, but yeah, what we can do then is... Come on, drop a zombie head for me. Not even... Not even a... Wow. <laughs> is there a recipe for these? Uh, if we use a scrap box, I guess, but we don't really have any scrap. Uh, I kind of don't want to fight the skeletons. Skeletons are not as fun. Seriously, no zombie... Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, getting shot. Taking hits. Oh, my God. Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is uh, not ending well. Actually, we did get a zombie brain. Nice. Uh, come on, I don't want to fight you, skelly man. I want to fight the zombies. And I only hardly want to fight these guys. I apologize, it's very dark. 
It's very, very dark. It's as bright as I can get it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Um, let's fight this guy. We still don't have a bed, so this is kind of the best way for us to get through the night anyway. That looks like an angry zombie. I don't like it. I'm getting attacked. There's a lot of zombies. There are a lot of zombies. I'm going to lure them back to my base. <laughs> Jeez. There are a lot of zombies. Come on. Come on. Come with me. Follow me back to the runic matrix. This is the place where all the cool zombies hang out. Yeah, get in the water. I can fight you off easily in the water. There are a lot of zombies out here. I mean, considering I was out to get zombies, I'm quite happy. But flipping heck, there are a lot of them. This guy's carrying his friend's brains. That's how, that's nice of him, you know. He's been a friendly guy. He's just been like, yep, my guy asked me to carry his, his brains when he's gone. And I was like, yep, I'll do that. I'm hoping nothing comes up behind me. I have a sad feeling it will. Oh, my God. I'm out of stuff. No, no, no. Oh, whew. Whew, okay. Can we finish this guy off and get home? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Let's just quickly try and crawl back home. We've got ourselves 11, which is enough to make us the um, the block of flesh, but isn't quite enough to get us all the other stuff we need, all the humanus for the, um, the other things. We didn't get any zombie heads either, which is kind of annoying. So, hmm. <coughs> Sorry about that. What can I do? I could... Uh, I could go to the nether and try and get some sauce on that way. And I think that's probably going to be the best way to do this. The best course of action. We have eight diamonds. We only need four of those in order to make a pickaxe and a shovel for the arcane bar. So we can get that set up fairly easily. Uh, what do we need for this uh, golem core? We need a water jar. We need some water bottles. A, go a golem animation core decanting. Which is a golem an animation core with aqua and vacuous. Now aqua and vacuous I don't think are too hard to come by. Um... Aqua is in, I know Aqua's in like boats. Here we go. We've got some Aqua in a boat. And then Vacuous, where would Vacuous be? I'm not 100% sure. So the reason that I can now shift and, and see things like this is because I did a little bit of research called uh, this one over here. There's some research expertise, which lets me just sort of like hover over, hold shift, and it'll tell me what's in stuff. So I could like look up what Vacuous is made of. It's made of air and uh, Procantio, maybe. Not too sure on the names there. Uh, I might as well also talk you through this as well whilst I'm here. I made a deconstruction table, which is just this guy here. And basically what this allows me to do is because a lot of the research required me to make aspects that I didn't have. Like if, it, if, if, it, if like sometimes research requires you to connect dots over here. And sometimes it re uh, requires you to have a certain amount of stuff in here. For instance, if let me find one. Um, like this one here. So in order to unlock this one, I need five aqua, which I don't have. Uh, that's not a great example because aqua is a, a primal aspect. But for instance, if I needed, say, oh, come on now. Now that I need it, it doesn't have anything. If I wanted to get this, if I wanted to get this guy, a clay golem, I need to make myself some spiritus and some motus. Motus is made from air and order. That's easy enough. Spiritus is not that easy to make. It's made from uh, mortus and victus. And mortus is made from uh, whatever this guy's called. I can't remember. Um... Predator and Victus. Now, in order to get Predator, I would either have to go around and scan stuff, and that, that's just kind of it. That's the only way I can really get the Predator. But what the deconstruction table allows you to do is it allows you to put something in there that contains what you're after. So in this case, I want Predator. Cobblestone has Predator in it. I can put some uh, Cobblestone into here. It will sit there and burn it up, but it also has a chance of turning some of that Cobblestone into either Terra or Predator and giving it, giving it to me as a research point. Which is kind of helpful when you don't have, like, you've scanned everything in the house, which I have done. I've even scanned most of the ores, and I couldn't really find that much more Predator. So this is kind of helpful. Uh, it does go through a lot of cobblestone, so it's not really useful if you wanted to, like, I don't know. If you were going to put, like, diamonds in here, I wouldn't recommend it. You probably won't get anything. But uh, it's, it's quite useful in some, in some aspects. This is very dark. I need to get, like, do you have any torches? It's very, very dark. We need, like, ah, we've got two. Let's, make some, let's get some more torches going around the, uh, around the site nearby. I can hear a skeleton outside. I don't like it. Come on, up it. Okay, glitch with um <laughs> I might have to report that as a bug for the reckoning. If you're holding a torch, you uh, you cannot open doors. That's a uh, bit of an odd bug. Oh, there he is, there he is. I don't want to say hi to you. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so what do we need to we alright, do we um We've got a few options. We can make ourselves uh, obsidian. 
And that we can make ourselves some obsidian. We can go get our, some, ourselves some obsidian from the mines, which is not too hard. Uh, and that will get us some spiritus because we can go to the nether. We can get some soul sand and everything would be good. We do need to find some more humanas. Uh, that is definitely something we have to do. So what I think I'm going to do is take three of you. Come over here. Do this. Get myself a diamond pick. Go and mine some obsidian. Kill some zombies. Get enough rotten flesh to uh, to make this thing. Is he gone? I don't think he is. It's, it's, it's dark. Let me just throw down some torches. All over the place. I just want to be able to not worry too much about mob spawning. I, I may have to move some stuff because golems can be killed by certain mobs. So I might have to protect my flesh golem a little bit because he's not the, the strongest guy in the world. Let's just throw some stuff down. And if I go find myself some obsidian, I could start mining that. Uh, I think there might be enough down here. I'm not 100% sure though. Um, so yeah, I think what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to go mine some obsidian. I'll go kill some zombies, hopefully get enough to um, to make the golems. And then what we can do is we can start some pretty cool arcane crafting. So I'm going to go do this. Uh, oh, oh, really? Ah, it's okay. I can just teleport. Flipping neck. I didn't really look at how much health I had. I probably should have done. Uh, oh, oh, creeper. There's a, there's a, there's a creeper. There is a guy who is sole purpose in life is to creep me out. No, oh, no. Ah. Hopefully we didn't lose anything. I don't think we did. We got our pickaxe still. This is good. We got our torches. That's good. Okay, let's let's find the subsidian. Where's the subsidian at? Here it is. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna sit here, guys. I'm gonna mine all this away. I'm gonna go kill some zombies, and I'll be back in a second once we have uh, some stuff to do. Okay, so a little while later and we have ourselves another portal as well as 19 zombie brains, which is pretty flipping cool. So, what we should be able to do now is make ourselves a rotten flesh block. Nice. So we can take that, we can throw it into our crucible in a minute once we've gotten ourselves some soul sand, which we can go grab from the nether oh, right about now. So, we're going to need some flint and a piece of iron. I hope we have one. We do throw you together like this? Nice. I usually get that the wrong way around first time. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> so we'll take that, we'll light our nether portal, and we'll go see if we can get ourselves some soul sand. Because that could be pretty flipping cool. Not going to leave that there, because I'll probably come back to find all my stuff has been burned. But, uh, yeah. Let's have a go. So I think I ended up using my, diamonds, uh, my diamond pickaxe as a way of killing zombies. It seemed pretty good. Uh, as opposed to my stone sword that I used to have. So, hopefully this isn't too scary. I haven't been to... Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, look at this. It's as if they knew we needed soul sand. It's as if they just knew. Is that a fortress? I don't know. It's very odd for the nether not to have loaded in yet. It's just sort of like I could see the edge where the clouds are. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I do like shaders, but I think in the nether they look a bit odd. Just because flipping, heck, the lava goes insanely bright. Uh, let me just turn them off for a second to see if things... Oh, gosh. It's just very... Oh, God. It's just very, very dark. Okay. Well, fine then. We'll throw the shaders back on. Jeez, right, let's grab eight of this. Once we've got eight of this, we should be good to go. Uh, do we have eight? We've got 17. Okay, let's let's head back. Let's head back. This place is pretty scary. <laughs> we'll, we'll come back if we need anything. Jeez. Actually, I do kind of want something. I want some nether quartz. Nether quartz would be nice. Let's head back, see if we can find some nether quartz. I want four nether quartz, if if possible. Um, I'm debating now whether or not shaders are, are even are good to have on. I'm flipping neck. We've, like, spawned on a platform that's just, like... Nothing but flipping. Let me turn shaders off. <laughs> let me let me try and make this a bit safe. We spawned. Oh, there we go. Look, nether quartz. I can see some. I can see some. Jeez, this is this is scary. Let's get let's get some great wood. You know, sounds like a good thing to to build stairs out of. Oh, good. Look, here we go. Here we go. Can we like staircase down? There we go. Here we we got this. We got this. Staircase down. There we go. Okay. Let's go grab some of that nether quartz if we can. Hopefully it doesn't like explode or do anything nasty to us. All I want is four nether quartz. Could be a bit greedy. Go take some more. Probably go die. There we go. Took a little bit more. We took seven. Eight's a nice even number. Actually, ten's a really nice even number. There we go. Oh, Jesus Christ. Whew. See, it didn't, it didn't want us to take ten. It didn't want us to take ten. It wanted us to be uh, to die at ten, but we, uh, we outsmarted the nether there. Okay. Right, now I'm going back. I've right, got to be careful here. I have never seen us spawn on such a, a, a unstable place. We've spawned on a platform in the flipping floating above lava. And jeez. 
Jeez, that's scary. Okay. Flipping heck. Well, anyway, we got ourselves some quads. Uh, the reason I wanted to get some quads was uh, we, we're kind of out of a weapon. We don't really have much of a weapon to fight with. Uh, we've got some pickaxes, but they're not really oh, special. What I wanted to do is I also unlocked a, a new wand car, a wand focus, and that is the wand focus of shock which is some air shards, some nether quartz, a potato, and some aspect. Now, I think uh, some of the zombies dropped potatoes, they did, and we happen to have just enough air shards, so if we throw them down like this with some quartz in between, and then a potato with our wand, we get ourselves the wand focus of shock, which is pretty cool. So what we can do with this is if we hold down F, uh, I believe, whilst holding on to our wand. It comes up with the wand focus, all the ones we have on us. And we can click on shock. And you'll see that it used the uh, shift F again. Yeah, shift F to take it off. Uh, we'll hold F again. You see that it says uh, air times 0.1. So it uses 0.1 air every time we use it. Uh, but that's fine. So if I want to attack this pig. Pew, 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 pew. I love this thing. Look at that. Beautiful. Some free gold there. So whenever something comes to attack us like this guy, we just, we just like, nope. Nope. What? <laughs> I love this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Nothing. No, it's going to attack us now. Look at that. So it tries to attack us. We just got that thing zapped. Zap it away. It does use up a bit of uh, a bit of air. But once we get a wand recharging station going, we should be fine. Look at all this rotten flesh we've got. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. We don't have to be scared about hanging out in the night anymore. You can see we've pretty much gone through almost half of our air already, which is quite a lot. But we're kind of safe. They don't even get close to us. The only things that can really attack us now are the uh, the skeletons from a distance. Anything else, we can sort of just zap off from uh, from quite far away, which is pretty flipping cool. So, I'm going to keep one carrot in case we need it. So, we should actually now be able to set some of this stuff up. So, let's make ourselves uh, eight doors, if we can. There's three. Uh, oh gosh, we're going to have to throw these in a little bit because they stack. I think we're going to have to replace this. Because I think it might still have some of the aspects in from before. So, I'll put you down again. We'll grab ourselves another bucket of water. Uh, we don't happen to have any buckets. Oh, we do. Nice. We'll go grab a bucket of water. We should have probably made an unlimited water source somewhere nearby. Uh, I think maybe R103 is in the water. No, R102. One of them's really close. There we go. Take some of that. Head back home. Here we go. All right. So if we throw this into here with a couple of doors. So that's one. Oh, no. We need to, we need to flip in. Wait for it to heat up first. Once it's heated up, we should be able to start throwing in our doors. Uh, we'll throw in the... Where's the rotten flesh? Here it is. Uh, rotten flesh. Let me get rid of some stuff. We'll just like dump all that in. Organize our inventory. So we've got one, two, three. Uh, let's make a few more doors. There we go. Take some more. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven... Nice. So, that's bubbling away. Can we start throwing doors in there now? We can. Okay. Let's replace these with doors. Like this. There we go. Let's throw all these doors in here. This is going to be qu create quite a bit of uh, a flux. Because we're throwing in a lot of aspects that aren't really needed all that much. But, uh, I'm hoping we're going to be okay. So, we need, what was it? Eight. Eight zombie brains to go in here as well. There we go. Eight zombie brains are in there. And then it was like eight soul sand as well. Like this. So we'll throw in eight soul sand. It's bubbling over. It's getting a lot of stuff in there. Throw in our block of flesh. And boom, we got ourselves a flesh golem. Nice. So now I can break this and it'll like explode with flux. Yeah, look at that. There goes the flux. Let's just, can we just, I'm not, I'm not quite sure how you're supposed to fix this. I think we just sort of, yeah, do sort of cover it up like this. There we go. Okay. I think that clears it up. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So we got rid of the flux. That wasn't too bad. But now we have ourselves a flesh golem. Nice. The next thing we're going to need is that uh, core. So in order to get that, we're going to need... We're going to need three bottles of water, uh, a water jar, which we've got already, uh, an animation core, which is a blank animation core with some aqua and some vacuous. What do we need for a blank animation core? Anything special? Ah, okay. So some nitor and four bricks okay i think we have some clay we do so we can make four bricks easy enough we've got some nitro already underground do we have an extra one i think we may have made two 
Yeah, we did. Look at that. Cool. So we got extra nitol, which is nice. Uh, that'll get us all that stuff. So we should be fairly okay with this. Uh, we got that. The hardest bit's probably going to be. Oh, we need to. This is a. This is a. This is a. An infusion thing. Ah, oh, that's a. That's a pain. Right. Hmm. So we need to get Aqua Motus and Precantia into some sort of ink. Um. Into the water jars before we can even make this thing. So. We're going to need to make ourselves an extra water jar, for one. So, where are you at? Are you in alchemy, maybe? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to need an extra water jar, which is not too bad. We've got a few uh, things to make that. So, we'll throw you there like this. And throw you on top with our wand. We'll use our iron wand, because it's got quite a bit of stuff in it. Uh, can we stack things in here? Oh, we can. Cool. So, we'll, do, we'll make a few more of these. We are going to need quite a lot of these jars in the long run. So, we'll take all you. We'll set you guys up outside. Oh my, what the, f what the, Jesus Christ, that's, that's, that's horrific. That is absolutely horrific. That makes me want to cry a little bit inside. Die, die, die by my wand, you fiend. Where is the pig-shaped creeper? I am scared to death. <laughs> Where is that thing? That is horrible. Where is it gone? I love this. I absolutely love it. Oh, there he is. Can we lure him out or we have to like... Whew! Okay, he's dead. He dropped pork chops. And what the heck? He also dropped a lightning summoner. What's this? Hopefully it's hard to make. Apparently it's not even possible to make. Can we summon lightning? I think it only works once. So I'm not going to summon it. But I think that just summons lightning. Uh, let's get this guy back out. This makes for a good, albeit expensive, way of defending off mobs. We really need to get our flipping one charging station set up fairly soon uh, if we want to keep using that the way we are. Um, okay, guys, so I'm going to go away for a second. I'm going to find out all of the things that we need to uh, to fill these jars up with the certain aspects uh, for the golems and stuff, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so a little while later, again, and we have ourselves some uh, Essentia in some jars. Look at this. Ah, oh, beautiful. Uh, we can even throw some labels on there if we want. Look at this. We've got ourselves some Aqua. We've got ourselves some Motus and some Precantia. I'm not 100% sure uh, if we have enough in each of these jars. They look very low, but I did put an awful lot of stuff in there, so I'm hoping this works. So I... I don't really know of a good way to get stuff into jars early game without using these golems, so... I kind of just did it the only way I know how. Let me show you this real quick. So, uh, the way I did this is, for instance, to get the Precantio, this middle one, uh, I used these Great Wood Logs. So, Great Wood Logs have some of whatever the tree one is. I think it's like Arbor or something, A-B-O-R, possibly. I might be wrong there. Let me have a look. I want to check that now. If I'm right, then that's kind of cool. Um, oh, yeah, it is cool. Nice. Okay, so uh, I was right on that one. But uh, if I were to do that, I would throw in basically some Great Wood. That would burn up. Then what I did is I'd throw down this thing. It'd fill up with a little bit of Arbor. Or maybe quite a lot of arbor. Jesus Christ, we had a lot of arbor backed up. <laughs> and then whatever. Then I then what I'd usually do is break it, pick up the jar because you can pick up these jars and keep the stuff in them. And then I'd put down the one for Precantio. But in this case, I'm just going to shift left click because we don't need that much arbor. Uh, and then what would happen is hopefully it should then afterwards fill up with. Uh, let me just try replacing it down. Start filling it with Precantio like this. Nice. So it fills up with Precantio, and then I would do it. I just re repeat, re ugh, try to try that again, uh, rinse and repeat, and I would do the process over and over and over again uh, until I had enough stuff. And yeah, for for clay, for water I used clay, for motors I used dolls again, and I just kind of repeated that process and just tried to get the stuff I had. I think I'm, I think fingers crossed, I have enough of each now to uh, to do the uh, to do what I need to do. But I guess we'll find out when we uh, try and make the course. So. Uh, in order to make this thing, we need both all of these three, uh, along with a water jar, which we happen to have one spare, which I've just thrown down at the end here. Uh, we don't need any of this stuff, so I'm just going to get rid of it. Got to be careful not to do that on ones that we do have already, because then it, and it ends bad. <laughs> it ends very bad. Uh, so yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, I didn't talk over a few things. We got this stuff here, these Essentia tubes. These are just over here somewhere? Not too hard to make. It's quicksilver, uh, iron ingots, glass, and red and glow ugh, and some gold. I cannot speak. <laughs> and then the quicksilver is just made by smelting some cinnabar, which is just that red sort of triangular ore that we had in our house. It's a, I thought there were a guy there. Then it's just soul sand. And um, so that's how you make those. 
And the water, the, 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 um, like the jar labels are somewhere else. Where are they? Are they down in, they should be in alchemy as well, I'd assume. Uh, I can't remember, but they're not too hard to make either. I think it's a, a slime ball and some paper, I think is how it's made. And maybe an ink sack. Uh, it's not too hard at all to make. So that's what I did for those. Basically just tells you what's in what, which is kind of cool. So once we got that, what we can do is our clay should be smelted up by now. We'll take you out. It's this, by the way, that we smelt cinnabar. And then we'll take you, we'll take some night ore, which we have on us. Craft that up to make us some... A blank core. There we go. Got ourselves a blank core. Now we need to turn that into a decanting core, I think. This guy here, by, by mixing some aqua and some vacuous. And to get those, we can use a boat, I think has four aqua in it. So we actually need some water real quick. Let's grab our bucket. Head back over to, was it, was it waypoint three, I think? No, we're point two. This, there we go. Okay, let's grab you again. Head back. Throw it in there. With a boat. <laughs> we do need five, however, so I think we're going to have to throw in a boat. Maybe a piece of sugar, possibly? Yeah, boat, some sugar. And then it turns out two chests have it vacuous in as well. So we should, I think, be pretty good to go. We'll throw you in there if we can. Throw you in there, out. Throw you in there. Throw both of you in there. And throw you in there. And we got our core of, our animation core of decanting. Nice. So, in order to finish this up, we're going to need to get ourselves some glass bottles. Like that. Go fill these up at waypoint number two. Here we go. One, two, three. Take those back home to our, uh, this thing over here. And we should, I think, be pretty good to go. So we want to have the car in the middle, a water jar at the top, and some water bottles either side. So we'll put a water bottle like here, uh, here, and here, with the jar at the top here. This guy in the middle, and right-click it with our wand. I think this is a fairly easy, like, low risk, maybe. Or minor, yeah. So it shouldn't, do, it shouldn't go wrong. But we'll right-click. There we go. It should start sucking these things in. We'll turn our particle effects back on because then it looks kind of cool. So we should see things breaking down and moving in. You can see it's taking in the aspects right now. So hopefully we have enough of each aspect for this to uh, to work. We should really have um, some extra stuff on us because things can go wrong. Like things can get knocked off, things can break, uh, and things can just get eaten up for no apparent reason. So we should theoretically have some extra... If it if this had been anything other than minor, like I think for the arcane bar, it's like a mid... Uh, like moderate so for this one we should probably have some extra gold some extra shards some extra great wood lying around just in case but for this one i think we should be fine is that done there we go look at this we got ourselves an alchemy card nice so what we can do now is we could throw down our golem uh what we want to, actually we'll throw him down in a second before we want before we throw him down we do need something else we're gonna need this guy up here, the uh, the Golomancer's Bell, which is not all that hard to make. It's a stick and four nether quartz. So you can see now, again, why I wanted some extra nether quartz. So we'll grab four of you. We do have a stick, so we'll make you. I assume it's over in here. Stick, four of you. Boom. Nice. And what we can do is take our thumb and I'll come back. We could throw this guy down next to this thing. I think that works. Let me just right click on here. There we go. Give him this core. And then if we just select from here to here, what he should then be able to do is take the stuff out of here. So if I threw some great wood in, <clears throat> once it's burned up, he should take it and go and put it in a jar. Now, he didn't find a jar for the uh, the arbor, so he's not going to do that. So let's go. Actually, let's just empty this jar of Picantio real quick. If we empty that, he should head over there, fill that jar up with arbor, head back, grab the Picantio, put it in this jar, and we should... Be good to go. Okay, it looks like he's... Oh, there we go. Look, he did it. Beautiful. So that's how we can do it now, and it becomes a lot easier. So, uh, for instance, now if we needed some vacuous, we could go make some chests. I think a chest has like four vacuous in it, maybe? Possibly? I think that's right. Let me grab uh, some stuff for a chest real quick. So if we, want, if we needed vacuous, we could just grab uh, a chest. A chest has four vacuous in it. He'd take all four vacuous, stick it in a jar, and we would be good to go. So that kind of opens up a nice little world to us because there's a heck of a lot more stuff uh, in Thorncraft that you can make once you've unlocked, once you can do infusion crafting pretty well. Uh, for instance, we've got these, uh, like the one, the portable hole is kind of a cool one. We do need an ender pearl, which I don't think we have, 
But uh, this thing basically allows you to, uh, to create a little hole that appears for a certain amount of time. So if I were to get in and out of my house and I wanted to use this wall, for instance, because I'm just like super lazy, I could just create a portable hole, it'd open up, I could walk through, and then it put all the blocks back again afterwards, which is pretty flipping cool. There's also the one focus of excavation. It's a bunch of one foci that need this stuff. And yeah, it's kind of cool. So we've got all that. And next episode, I know it, it's taken us a while, but next episode we will get on to making the arcane ball. We'll find the stuff to make all of this. Uh, also, we could like we could put four chests in and get sixteen vacuous uh, straight up into that thing, which is kind of cool. So we could do that. Well, next episode we'll set up the arcane ball and hopefully start to get ourselves some uh, some automated mining going. So thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to like, and I will see you next time. Look at this, Jesus! Ah, <laughs> oh look, it made some terror. That's nice. <laughs> Bye.